Hi, my name is Tallulah and I'm running for the position to become Surrey's next young mayor and hopefully their first ever female young mayor to run in office. There were so many aspects that I've taken into consideration when applying. However, a particular aspect of the application was the developed skills that I have that make me an ideal candidate. I can see from the overview of this position that I will need to be dependable as well as being honest and cooperative with other members of the youth cabinet. I've already gained experience with implementing these qualities, such as being given the responsibility of house captain four years ago and working in a specialist school twice as a school council member. I feel that having these qualities can really add value to the contribution of my work and my ideas. As stated in my manifesto, I would aim to do the following things. I would aim to actively listen to the views of young people, allow students the chance to organise projects alongside the Young Mayor Support Fund, give additional support to youth via Surrey Youth Cabinet, and to consider the opportunities of democracy and youth voice that young people can co contribute to. With these aims in mind, I believe that this would benefit so many young people in Surrey. I would make them feel heard, along with giving them the opportunity to change how young people perceive this county for the better. As a young person myself, I would take into account what young people need and I would offer them further support from what I would discuss in office in a professional manner and to the best of my ability. It's also important that we realise the true potential that we have, despite the situation that, that situations that life throws at us and that we have the power to create positive change in any given circumstance. My main issue that I would like to focus in office in my time there is the mental health and well-being of young people. I know that from my own personal experience as an autistic secondary school student, that when we aren't feeling ourselves and we have issues that are troubling us, getting help is a step forward in moving towards finding a solution. I feel that from my viewpoint, academia is usually emphasised as the main focus and therefore our mental health is sidelined, when in reality it plays a significantly larger role in how we function in our overall daily lives. According to the Children's Society, 75% of young people aren't being offered the support for their mental health and in a classroom environment, 5 out of 30 of children are likely to have a mental health problem. These statistics are certainly a motivation for us to reevaluate and create strategies to assure that young people are able to be in the right headspace and most importantly that they're not alone despite what society has conditioned us to believe. I have a passion for living in Surrey due to the incredible quality of education that consists of a vast range of subjects of which we are able to thrive and enrich upon as well as the exquisite standards of architecture such as Hampton Court Palace and Kew Gardens. Overall, I strive to be a young mayor who is representative of today's young people that can benefit them in moving towards the right direction in whatever path in life that they choose to undertake. Despite the, the, despite the societal expectations and experiences that are placed upon them. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for listening.